What's up guys, it's your boy Adam from Shisha Central and today I'm bringing you guys the Russian Hooker Series episode 4. I know it's been long overdue, I've been busy, Corona's happened, so you know it's not really my fault. I did promise you I'll be bringing you back episode 4 a few months back but it is what it is. But I've got something exciting for you today. So loads of you have been asking about Alpha Hooker. I know I've been promoting it on my Instagram and Facebook and all of that sort of stuff. And you guys have been really intrigued. And a lot of you have actually purchased it from vendors who I've suggested you to go to. So this is Alpha Hooker. Um, I've got two models that I have with me today. But they overall, they've got around three or four models now. Um, so I am going to review and compare Alpha X, which was the one that originally came out. And the newest model, Alpha S, which I picked up at Hooker Club Show in Russia. So I just want to say one thing real quick. Alpha Hooker is my personal favorite hooker. So I'm really excited to do this review and comparison for you today because I've been wanting to do it for a while and I just haven't had the time to do it. Also today, I don't have my cameraman with me, unfortunately. He's in Spain um, in lockdown. So I am filming this myself. So if it's slightly um, not as good as my previous videos, I apologize, but it's the most I can do at the moment. So let's start off by putting together both shishas. So let's go. Guys, now I'm gonna show you how to put these shishas together. So first off, I'm gonna start off with the Model X. As you can see, it's got a nice tray, quite heavy, has some good weight to it. Um, this bit over here is really nice as well. They've engraved it. And to be honest, I've had this for like a year now and this has never come off, even when I put coal in it and stuff. So yeah. Very good tray. You've got the sleeve, which goes over the stem. As you can see, it's very nice as well. Um, I've got the color purple, that pinkish purple, I think. And then you've got the chamber and the um, stem, which is put together. As you can see, there's three ball bearings in there. They do not come out um, unless you unscrew it like an idiot. But you don't want to do that. So they're nice, doesn't come out. Obviously, when you're washing it, the water might go in there. All you have to do is give it a shake like this. Make sure all the water's out. At the bottom of their uh, Model X chamber, you can see um, five holes and this hole as well. So six in total, but five on the outside. That's due to the purge, obviously. Um, the, way th the way it purges is really cool. Um, it was like one of the first issues to do this sort of purge back in the days. It was the first time I ever saw it anyway, so I'll show you how it purges layer, but yeah, that's why there's so many holes on the um, chamber or the heart, like some people like to call it. Then you've got the downpipe. What's really cool about this with both of them, so both of them have a um, diffuser, obviously, but when it comes in the box, it starts off like this. So some people might think, oh, my diffuser's on. Of course it's not. It needs to be the other way around. So you just simply take it off. And then put it on this way and obviously now the diffuser is on but what's really cool about it is that you know sometimes when you have a diffuser you like you can only take it off and you have to store it somewhere with this one all you have to do is put it on the other way around you'll never lose it you never misplace it that's what i love about alpha you know they come up with these really good ideas so yeah, that's how you do that now let me start by putting it together obviously i've shown you this ready Just put it in like so and twist like usual Then you'll go ahead and uh, put the sleeve on. Then the tray. So this is what I like about the tray as well. It fits in nicely. Obviously there's quite a lot of tread over here as well. So some Russian hookers, they slip off quite easily because there's not a lot of tread, but with this one, um, when you put the tray on, it's nice and sturdy. Then obviously you put on your bowl port. I'm using uh, drop bases for this comparison and review. So uh, yeah, then you just simply put it in. Be sure to wet it sometimes. You need to wet it, I didn't, but yeah, still got on all right. Yeah, perfect. So this is Alpha X, it's got the logo there too. So now let's do Alpha S. Got the gold and uh, blue color for this one. Obviously, same thing. If you want your diffuser on, turn it around. Just 
the chamber on the S is slightly different. So the way it purges is different to the way the X purges. So they have actually one more hole at the bottom of the chamber than uh, the X. That's because their purge shoots out two ways, two separate ways. Whereas the purge of the X, like you'll see in a minute, it comes out all as one in one direction, all up. Whereas this one is shoots out in two directions. So obviously same thing, you put your downpipe on like so. One thing that's really different with this is what I've noticed. Um, I'll go into a bit later in detail, but if you can see, this is the downpipe, this is the stem. They're slightly away from each other. It's not like this stem is right in the middle of the chamber and it's coming straight down. There's a slight gap. So when you actually look into the down stem or the, um, the, down, the down pipe or the stem, you'll actually see that you can't fully see through the shisha because of the way their purge is designed and their chamber is designed. I'll go into that a bit more later, but I just thought I'd tell you. So obviously now I've got it like this. This is the cover on it. Slightly different. The way you put it on is, oops, no, like this. Like so, you hear a lock when it goes in. So, like that. This little lock, like that. That's, that's how you know it's in. Then, I'm not gonna lie, tray looks sick because of the design on it, but you can get similar designs on the X. But I'm a bit disappointed with this tray. Much more heavier, but it's much smaller. So, I like my trays big. Obviously, it's down to personal preference. That's just my opinion. So, yeah. As you can see, that's it. And there you go. Both of them put together, side by side. Both of them got the same um, sort of hose port, I think. So... Yeah, very similar hose ports, both of them. It's magnetic, so all you have to do is clips in. Same with this one. Clips in. Does it's it's very hard to take it out as well. It's not as easy as some other ones. So, yeah, that's how you put them together. Now I'm gonna go and make some bowls. Come back and uh, show you how they purge. Let you know how they smoke, and yeah, give my final verdict and opinion. So guys, I'm back. I've now uh, packed some bowls and put two different HMDs on just so I can show you how they both sort of work. So I've got the Cloud uh, OnePlus and the Provost. I've packed um, Sabero waffles with chocolate orange. And for this one, I just done straight black currant uh, by Sabero. So for those of you who don't know who Sabero is, it's a Russian brand. Um, obviously it looks quite dark in color because it is similar to dark leaf, but um, it's quite a light feel to it, it's still light blonde. It's the way they make it is slightly different. If you go on to my Hooker Club Show video, which I took uh, about a couple of months ago, it's on my page since um, a couple of weeks ago, check it out and he'll explain. But yeah, smoking Sabero, thought I'd have to do obviously Russian products, might as well do Russian tobacco as well. So let me start off with the uh, Alpha X. That's the first pull. So with both models, I found that uh, using the Cloud Lotus does bring out more clouds. Obviously, a lot of people know if you use a H&B like the Lotus straight on top of the tobacco, it's going to produce a bit more clouds than with foil sometimes. But yeah, I normally use the Cloud with this and sometimes I use this setup as well. So with the Pro Box and foil. So yeah, I want to show you the purge now. I'm just going to load the shisha up. So. so this is the purge. As you can see, all going up towards the tray, hits the tray and comes off. Alpha was one of the first shishas I saw this with. Obviously, if anyone can... Um, Tell me about some other ones that they saw before this, please drop it in the comments. But from what from my knowledge, this was the first one that actually had that effect. And I remember seeing it back in the days as well. 
the actual drawer and the pull on this obviously with most Russian shishas are quite light it's quite open as well it's not too open like some other shishas I've had where it's very airy but it's just the right openness of, on the drawer you know when it comes to alpha one thing I've noticed compared to all the other Russian shishas I have is that alpha has their own unique sort of drawer if you had 20 shishas in front of me and I was blindfolded I can tell which ones are alpha not from the hose handle but from the way it smokes so the best way to describe it is open produces quite thick clouds um, small in size and yeah the purge is amazing so alpha x i love the shisha for both of them as well the way you put the water in um just above the diffuser there's like um i'll say a millimeter or two millimeter gap just put the water on the indent where you see the line that's perfect um compared to the alpha s now let me smoke that I'll show you how this one works this one's just taking a little bit longer to start up Yeah, again, while starting up with the Alpha S, obviously it's a newer model. You can straight away see from the look, I think this one looks better. Alpha S looks much better because of the two-tone. Obviously, you can see the stem, so you can have gold and a few other colours as well. So, it's a two-tone sort of colour. It looks better, more appealing to the eye, in my opinion. But I find it a tad more restrictive, which isn't a bad thing. It's not a bad thing at all. Still a good hooker, still better than a lot of the other Russian ones. But I just find it a bit more restrictive. And I think that's because the way it's actually made with the stem and the downpipe not being in line totally due to the purge of it. I think that by doing that, it's restricted some of the flow. This one took a bit longer to start up because I put the coals on after that. So it's not because the shisha isn't performing as good as that. It's just because I put the coals on later. But yeah, with the purge on this one, slightly different, take a look. So you got one of the purges shooting out this way and one of them shooting out this way, which is cool. I've never seen a purge that shoots out a different way. So very innovative by what Alza has done. Um, comparing these models, it's a bit of a tricky one. My personal favorite still is the X, just because I like the purge more on the X. Um, I think it um, caught my eye um, as soon as I saw it back in the days and it's kind of become my favourite hooker. But Alpha S is not bad, it's still a very good hooker, um, beats a lot of the other Russian ones out there. But if I was you and it was your first purchase of an Alpha model, go for the X and then work your way up to the S. They also have a Kappa model which is similar to this, but it's slightly taller around this, this much higher. Uh, smoke similar to this but I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, but yeah, these are the alpha models. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Enjoy the review. I'll be doing a few more clips on this video in a minute, showing you the purges properly. And uh, yeah, you might be thinking where to buy this from. So obviously I do everything for the UK market. So I've directed a lot of you guys to previous vendors before, really good vendors out there in the UK we have. It's growing really great. But I'm actually opening my own uh, UK hooker store. So it's gonna be online based. Reason for it is I send hundreds of people a month to all other vendors in the UK. I thought might as well open my own shop and have products on there I personally like. So if you trust in my opinion and you trust in um, the way I review my products, you guys will be happy about that. It's a website will just have my favorite pipes and pipes I think are worth it. So um, yeah, um, the name of it still under wraps. By the time this video comes out, it might be out. So yeah, but anyways, Alpha Hooker. They've won loads of awards around the world. Good hooker to get. Make sure you go and grab one. I hope I explained the two differences quite well. But yeah, anyways, guys, nice seeing you. Episode four, episode five out soon. Take care, and I'll see you later.